All right, Ashley. Yeah, I'm here, and actually, I was joining because of the same reason that person asked that question about tribe. You know, we are still missing the point. And I said, Matutoye, you're a president. Yes. The name president is just a name like any other. Have you ever heard a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet? So the problem is not the name. The problem is that we only listen to what our leaders tell us. Because even since the, when the election was done, there was no chaos for six months until Raila decided now we have to go and demonstrate and came with uh, reasons why we need to demonstrate. Let me tell you something. Even if we chose Raila, would be complaining today because all these leaders we have now are the problem. Someone was giving very good ideas about markets, how we can organize markets to be look neat, how we can have um, like um, public transport in certain areas. And it's been done. And I had right. someone say that in Kenya, it is not possible now. Let me tell you, our it is leader- possible. Our, our, um, our politicians are the most rich in the world. So the money is there. We are yeah. collecting enough revenue. The problem is we are choosing thieves. Now we come here, we talk about Ruto, we talk about Raila. Let me tell you, they are the same. It's just whose turn is it to eat. It does not depend whether it's a Kikuyu, whether it is a Kalenjin, whether it is a Luo. Now, if we put a Luo and they are eating and you're not being benefiting anything, what, Yani, when are we going to think? Let me tell you what will change Kenya is when the majority, which is us, refuse to be lied to, refuse to be bribed to put someone in power. Yani, unachukua pesa, unakula fea na usiende. That is when we will change because we can choose someone else, us. Look at the people waiting in the wings right now. It's the same people. Wala walitoka, moi era. We have in the side wings in um, Kenya Kwanzaa, there is Musalia Mdavadi, whose father was Mudavadi, Sijui, what his name was. When we go to the other side, Kalonzo, we have Mada Karua, we have the um, Wamalwa. It is just the same names. And now we still want to think in the next election that those are the ones we want to consider. And then we say at it is tribalism. I'm a Kikuyu. I've never benefited from, from tribalism. In Kiharo, where the Dinjoro comes from, and so many other places I know, people are still going to the river to, to fetch water, to drink water that down the stream, someone else is bathing with the same water and you're waiting for, you come early in the morning when it's clean, in quotes. And this is Kikuyu land. So how has that Kikuyu, who has to go and fetch drinking water from the stream, benefited from having three presidents? It is because we listen to our leaders. They tell us what to talk about. They tell us what is important. Yet God has given you your own head your own brain, you don't want to use it. You want to be brainwashed. You, you want to be moved around like a robot. Then we come here and say, oh, the next time we put a Kalenjin, just think about that. You know, in 2016 in America, both the two presidential contenders were from the same city. That was never an issue. That was never an issue. The issue was the policies and the things they were talking about. The Democrat was Hillary Clinton and the Republican was Trump. They are both from New York. That never they said, oh, we can't choose, choose two people from New York because each party has their own reasons why they stay in that party. The other day I had this guy, Lusaka, the new governor say, I have always been in government. I look the side which is union and I go that side. Those are leaders we don't need. Yet we choose them. The problem is us. It is not tribalism. Why are we choosing someone who is waiting and looking which side to go? So that person has no conviction. So that person has no stand. That person has no integrity. They are going to that side for no reason other than to be in government. 
Are they going to serve you? No. Do you know why people are fighting from their presidency? Because that president, you see now they are saying, no, you shouldn't ask Uhuru, even though he's told, even though we want to let him off. Nobody in Kenya under the law is over, is over the law. No, nobody is over the law. If someone committed a crime without being to that a crime that can be found they should be held answerable because this money that has been stolen is our money our tax money and that money that has been stolen by whoever i'm not going to just say him by whoever there are people in prison today for stealing very little so why are they in prison if these big people are being forgiven for stealing billions billions should we not also release those people in prison? are prisons made for for, for us but it is hard. We have the power. But until we realize that we have the power, we will do nothing. Let me tell you what will change Kenya because I've thought about it. What will change Kenya is if someone, like now someone starts civic education in every little village and talk to people about their rights, talk to people what they need to expect from government, talk to people about the kind of leaders they need. If by the next election we have educated voters, we will choose better leaders, and if they do not perform, we will remove them. We will recall them. And those who have stolen should be held accountable. Do you know how many people have died because there is no medicine in the hospitals? Do you know how many children have not even been seen their dream to go and get an education because their parents are poor? Now they are saying, give us time. Give us time. Give us two years. Do you know today there is a kid who did not go to high school because the mother won't afford? Two years from now in Kenya, that's it. They are going to be someone's maid. They are going to go to Saudi, maybe come back in a box. They are going to become a prostitute. They are going to get HIV because they are going to be, um, you know, umbabas, looking for umbabas. Uh -huh. it, is it is us. And it is us who will make the change. But until we get educated, until we get out of our cocoon, what is it helping me that Kashagwa is the president today or vice president? Even though they put all these CSs, they put all 50 of them Kikuyus. And then you come here, you say, you Kikuyus, you Kik what do you mean? Why are you being stupid when you're intelligent? Why can't you see the game that is being played on, or played on us? Did you not hear what they talked about today? Every of one, when Ruto was talking, he never mentioned cost of living. Someone had to ask him about it. When Raila was talking, he never talked about cost of living. Someone had to ask him about it because we don't matter. And it is because we have shown them that we are silent. We only talk what they talk. So they, if they don't give us a, a, a narrative, we won't talk about it. They will go, they will fix them positions to keep quiet. Immediately they keep quiet. They, nobody will worry now he's talking. Let me tell you what Ruto wants to do next. He wants to appoint the one gender, uh, the one third gender rule. What he's going to promise Raila is that I'll appoint some of your people to fill these positions. Can you imagine all those positions, all those cars, all these um, trips they are making to foreign trips? If you put that money together, don't you think they would have been able to send 5,000 sh uh, shillings to every person who is under the poverty? line they could have done it but we don't use our voice for the right th reasons we use our voices for the wrong reasons and until we wake up from our slumber we will continue to be used and misused and dumped like a condom i'm done thank you uh, oh, 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 thank you oh, ashley oh, for that wonderful submission oh, and oh, 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 any oh, question oh, for oh, ashley oh, miss uh, you want oh, to say something Okay. Uh, kwanza ameweza kusubmit vizuri kwa dada yangu Ashley. Uh, lakini vile vile pia kuna mahali si kuelewa vizuri. Uh, swali la kwanza ambalo nitaweza kumuuliza. Ataingia uhuru je? kuna kabila yoyote liweza kurani hii government tukaona uongozaji wake ama uongozi wake apart from uh, two tribes na you know, kama hakuna uh, 